Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan. Did you know that Clever Fox had a teacher planner? I did not know it, but they do. This is the large, customizable, undated teacher lesson planner from Clever Fox. It is available in several different colors for the cover. It's a vegan leather cover. It is a vertical layout. Now there was not sufficient excitement in my voice just now when I said vertical layout because I'm going to go right to what I'm talking about and then we'll go through the whole book. Look at this. Your days of the week are across the top and then you have room for seven subjects vertically. So many people have been wanting to see vertical layouts in their teacher planners and it's so seldom offered. This one has a vertical layout. So let's go back to the beginning. The little Clever Fox logo is embossed on the front and the corners are rounded here. A sewn in pen loop is on the back cover. When you open it up or somewhere in your box, you'll get these two cards. This is your Clever Fox no hassle refund card, warranty card. And then this is sort of a quick start guide, LOL. It actually says quick start guide. I just said that thinking of electronics and it just explains the different areas of the planner, but we're not gonna use this unless we need to. We're just gonna dig in. So rounded corners and let's get the dimensions on this. It's approximately seven inches wide by nine and three quarters inches tall. Clever Fox Teacher Planner, if found, please be kind and return to. So you've got places for your name, school, email, phone, address, and social. Never seen a social blank before. This is an important date spread. It starts with July. So I like that because in America, our school year starts either in August or September most of the time. Therefore, that is perfect for my situation. Then you have schedule of school events for the entire year. Look how this is laid out. September, and then it goes up to 31 days. So you would only use, of course, the number of days that you need, but you can plot out all of your events for the entire year vertically in a chart as a reference. Student information, name, phone, and email. And I'm going to say that because this was lined and had 31 lines. These lines look about the same width that this would also have probably 31 lines, so 62 students. Communication log, two pages. Date, name, reason, slash resolved. Student checklist. Okay, I've marked this with the first of three satin ribbon page markers. There are 45 student slots here, 45, and they are numbered, and they're numbered here and here as well. So as you go across, you will not have as much difficulty locating the correct line. The top says date. I would maybe suggest that this could be for more than just dates. The blanks are very small up here, but these could be students here and then different elements of their course of study throughout the year up here, different tests perhaps, different activities, not just dates at the top. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920 of those, 20 student checklists, if you count this and this as separate. But it's only 10. If you need to go all the way across with one, it's only 10 of those spreads. I mean, if you needed to go all the way across with just one, then maybe it would be 19 spreads. You can just decide how you want to do that because the student column is only on the left side. So there's 10 full spreads, but I think that you could, if you wanted to, write the student's name here and have a whole separate page, even though you would be writing across those columns. After that, we have graph paper. 
This one says monthly plan at the top. I don't think it needs to say that because this could be seating charts. This could be any sort of note taking that you want it to be. And then here is your first monthly calendar. It starts on a Sunday, ends on a Saturday. The sidebar is on the left and it's lined. There are little circles where you can write in the dots or put stickers in. One, two, three, four, five weeks. So occasionally you might have to split a day. That's what it looks like. Now check this out. You get another graph paper spread that says monthly plan and then your next month is right here. Your weekly pages go after this. So all of your months are stacked in the front. Do I like that? Actually, I do. So they're all just like this. It's black and white. The graph paper is in between each one. I really like this. This is functional in my case as a piano teacher. I like it. After you get to the end of the months, it will go right into your first weekly spread and I have that marked with the second of three ribbon page markers. So the first column is headed with subject. That is an unlined box, seven of these. So you could have seven different periods or subjects. Then you've got Monday and a box for the date. Tuesday, a box for the date. You could also put week of and put the dates there. You could call this week one, do it however you want to and then notes over here. So if you wanted to, because I know a lot of people like to use planners for purposes that they're not originally intended for, but that might work well, you could split this notes section in half and you could make it Saturday and Sunday if you want to. So all of these look the same, they're all grayscale. And you're just going to get a whole bunch of weeks in a row. There's no gap in here or divider between months. It's just a bunch of weekly spreads. One thing that's really neat about this is that if you have a break week, you're not going to waste a spread. You can actually just use the dates when you're back to teaching and not even list the week that you have the break if you want to. There are no tabs, so if you need tabs, you'll have to add those. So here we come to the last weekly spread. There are 46 weekly spreads. It's a seven period layout. Then you get graph paper. And let's see how far that goes. It goes all the way to the end. So the rest of it is graph paper all together. And there's a pocket in the back there's an elastic closure, so let's take this off, pull out what's in the pocket. We have stickers, so this is a sticker sheet of holidays mainly, and then you have early dismissal stickers here. I think these are actually really cute. The color is very vivid and saturated. Then they provide the circles for your monthly calendars that are undated. So you have dates here, you don't have to write them in. And they're all different colors. So let me spread them out. You get all different colors for all 12 months. Then you have reminder, rescheduled, conference, assembly at, and then a blank, staff meet, staff meet instead of staff meeting, which I guess is fine, at, and then you fill in the time. Parent-teacher conference. These are speech bubbles. I couldn't figure out. I thought that was a, a cuff on a shirt and then a hand making a fist. That's not what it is. It's two speech bubbles. No school. Fall break, winter break, spring break, summer break, field trip, field trip, field trip, field trip, snow day, science fair, class party, and picture day. 504 meeting, first day and last day, open house, emergency drill, cute little globe, sick day, sick day, sick day, book fair, test today, PTA meeting, note to self, quiz today. Now these are smaller, you can tell from the cut lines, these are smaller than what they appear to be. So they're, they're like this. Quiz today on the first row, test today, then copy, grading, quiz today, test today. And minimum day, lesson planning, professional development, progress report, 
report cards, staff development day, grades due, school events, volunteering. So a really nice set of stickers. Really nice, they all fit in here. And then the elastic closure works like this. You have a pen loop here. I forgot to put one of the ribbon page markers in. Two of them actually, so let's put those down. I really like this layout. I teach six students a day, so the seven periods is plenty for me, and I prefer a vertical layout. My mind just works that way. It's kind of compact. The paper is nice. I don't know the GSM, but I'm gonna guess. It's at least 120 GSM. It's at least 80 pound. It could be more than that. Really nice. It's a smooth texture. I don't feel much tooth to it at all. Will it lay flat? Yes. Let's pick another spot. Yes. It will lie flat, I believe is the correct word. Yes, it will. Is there anything missing in here that I would want? I don't know. I think probably if I were going to pick on one thing that I wasn't as crazy about, I would prefer that these grid lines be a little bit wider, more spread apart, fewer students than 45. I have 24 students, and I know most classroom teachers probably have more than that. Maybe they do have 45. But I would just like a little bit more room to write instead of as many rows and this is divided into five chunks, so you could keep track of month by month that way if you wanted to. I probably would not use this for a date up here in my application of it. I usually put different levels of mastery with different skills at the piano up here at the top, and so there's not a lot of writing space for that. So that's something I would probably pick on just a little bit if I were going to change it. It has enough record pages for me. I don't know if it's enough record pages for the typical K through 12 school teacher. I don't know, perhaps. I think tabs would be nice, but it is also nice to be able to do this. The tab situation though, would be a little bit different because you might need two sets of tabs because all of your monthly calendars are at the beginning of the planner. They're all up here. So you might want tabs for this area, or you might just want one tab that just says monthlies. Then you could have a tab once we get into the weeklies that is down here and it just says weekly. And during the weekly, that might be where you really wanna have your tabs. Like start with September, October, whatever, whenever your school year starts. Maybe start with August. That's where you might want to have tabs but I don't know if I would necessarily need the tabs. I could probably just thumb to what I need. I don't always do weekly lesson plans, at least written ones. I mainly do a monthly plan anyway. My weekly schedule for piano teaching is more of just keeping track of who is coming when and any unusual things or out of the ordinary things that I need to make note of. I love the graph paper in the back because I do a lot of memory keeping in my teacher lesson planner. I will put recital programs, notes from students, photographs, all kinds of things in the back. Thank you notes from other teachers for judging their festivals or just competition results, festival results, all kinds of stuff. And I would probably use all these graph pages in the back as memory keeping. The pocket folds out. It would not hold a letter sized piece of paper unless you folded it. So it's not a big lesson planner, even though this is the large size. You guys, what's incredible is this is available in 14 different colors. They're all vegan leather. It feels really good. This one has a bit of a metallic sheen to it. The others may or may not, I am not really sure. But I'm popping the 14 colors up on the screen just so you can get an idea of what is offered. The fuchsia was my second pick. I really love that hot pink look of the fuchsia. I will tell you that the aquamarine that I picked up in the wellness planner does have a little bit of a, a metallic sheen to it. So maybe they all do, but I, I really can't say that for sure. I don't know. 
This runs $27.99, but I have a discount code for you down in the video description that I believe will get you 10% off. I think the code is just Plan Sarah Plan, but don't take my word for it. I mean, you can try it, but down in the video description, I will have the actual discount code for you. And I'm just really impressed with this and I'm really surprised because I had no idea that Clever Fox, which is a brand that you can get at cleverfoxplanners.com. I think that's it. Again, don't take my word for it. Click on my link down in the video description if you don't mind. It might be singular, cleverfoxplanner.com. I have the link for you and the discount code down in the video description. I love that it comes with these stickers. In fact, should we go ahead and just dress up a month? Okay, so this is maybe what I might do on a typical month. I keep it somewhat simple, but then I do like to have a little bit of fun with color. And August is the month before my school year starts. I just teach some summer lessons on Thursdays. But let's see how this paper held up against these pens. I used clean color dot markers. I used a Ritec black gel pen with a 0.7 millimeter tip. I use some highlighter and washi tape. Of course, washi tape won't bleed through. Looks like we did pretty well here. Here is the clean color dot result, even with the darker one. There's kind of a teal one there. That one will often bleed through and it didn't really bleed too badly. I sort of went over this highlighted area a little extra and that did kind of shadow through a little bit. And on this side where I wrote, I don't see anything that came through. So this paper does really well with the pens that I used. And clean color dot markers are notorious for doing a little bit of bleed through with the darker ones. And I think they this paper passed that test really well. So one thing I wanted to point out, as I was doing this, I started to think, if I were to use this planner, one thing that I would miss is the year at a glance. There is no year at a glance, and that is most likely because it's an undated planner. So my suggestion would be to take some of the pages in the beginning, possibly the dot grid or graph page right before the first month, and download from the internet a free yearly calendar, one that you like, and then just tape it to this, glue it to this, so you will have a year at a glance. I think most teachers need that. And then you might want one in the back of your planner for the following school year as well. You have plenty of graph pages for that. Or if you're into bullet journaling, just use these graph pages to write your own year at a glance and make it cute, however you wanna do it. That's maybe the only thing that I noticed that was missing from this planner. And that would be, you know, something that's super helpful for, te for teachers as you plan out the school year. So aside from that, 
I'm not personally missing anything. Um, I, I'm a fan of this layout being vertical, very much a fan of this. It's mostly lined here, except on your subject boxes. This, on the monthly view, it's not lined. If that's important to you, then, you know, watch out there. It is not lined there. Aside from these lines being a little bit too close together for my personal preference, the year at a glance is the only thing that I think I'm missing with this book. I like the size of it. I like how carryable it is. I like the elastic strap to close it. The three ribbon bookmarks. You could easily add some tabs to this like the pen loop. So I, I'm pleased with this. I think it's a neat planner. I mean, for a piano teacher, in my case, I think this would really work. And I like the stickers too. I think they're high quality. They are a matte finish and they have what appears to be rose gold metallic accents on all of them. I think they're nice stickers. And I'm just going to tuck them in this back pocket. What questions do you have about this planner that I haven't answered? I'd be happy to answer them. And let me know if you've used this planner before, if you even knew that Clever Fox had a teacher planner. There is a smaller version, and that one's an A5 size, so it's a little bit smaller than this, a little bit shorter. It only comes in three cover colors. This one comes in 14 colors, and that one I think is $24.99, so it's about $5 less than this large one. So tell me what you think, especially if you've used this planner before, if you have any tips, and I especially wanna know if there's a question I didn't answer. If you think this is a good fit for you, if it's a good teacher planner for your needs, then I invite you to use my discount code, Plan Sarah Plan. Get a little bit off of your total and tell me what color cover that you chose. I think that the covers are really vivid and pretty. So I'd love to know what color that you chose. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.